Look, Councillor Leviticus and Captain Rianne sent me. I need to see Councillor Abor now. And what about my sister? She hasn't been seen since she took the Councillor her meal. Councillor Abor was very clear about this. She doesn't want to be disturbed. Oh, another mercenary. Is our Ivory Brigade so enfeebled that Captain Rianne must resort to hiring sellswords? Look, as I told the Wood Elf, Councillor Abor was quite insistent. She doesn't want to be disturbed. All right, enough. I can see when I'm being overruled. Very well. I give you permission to enter the Watchtower. Councillor Abor's safety is now in your hands. Lurius? Oh, something about his sister. She's another servant here at the fort. Works in the kitchen, I believe. Apparently, she brought the Councillor her meal. He says she never returned, but the servants look for any opportunity to sneak off. The Councillor demanded we protect her. Said her life was in danger, but refused to give me any details. Imperial confidentiality, she insisted, above my station. I put her up in the watchtower and assigned a couple of brigadines to guard her. Oh no! Councillor Abor's been murdered! But where's the servant? The Dark Brotherhood's calling card. Of course they tore out the pages and took them, just when we were so close to finding out more about the ambitions. Abor's meal is still warm. So what happened to the servant that delivered it? We have a door locked from the outside, a dead counselor, and a missing servant. Did the assassin take off with both the torn-out journal pages and the servant? Anyway, they not only murdered Abor, they probably know how to find the ambitions now. See that rope hanging from the top of the tower? Bet my bottom acorn that's how the assassin got in and out. But the missing servant... Something about that is knocking on the back of my head. And why would the Dark Brotherhood take those pages? Maybe. But everything I've read about the Dark Brotherhood never suggested they would be interested in weapons of war. If that's even what the ambitions are. Damn it. We're loosing arrows in the dark here. Let's tell Commander Orton about Abor. So, will Councillor Abor be returning with you to Leowin? Am I finally going to be able to get my fort back in order? Murdered? Gods, keep your voice down. Do you want to start a panic? Tell me what you found in the Watchtower. Let me see that. A black handprint. The sign of the Dark Brotherhood. But where is the servant, Talais? Is she involved in this fiasco? And how did she and the assassin get out of the watchtower? My brigadines never left their post. Well, that explains some of it, but not all. We need to locate Talais. Since you're already involved in working for Captain Rian, I want you to quietly try to find Talais. Start by talking to the other servants in the kitchen and dining hall. Your sister is fine. This one is certain. Then where could she be? She would never neglect her duties. Probably found a dark corner and someone to snuggle with. This one does that all the... Pleasant days, visitors. How can this one assist you? Ah, Talis. She worries her brother so. 
She asked me where we kept the hot root flakes. Councillor Ebor sprinkles them on every dish. I told her they are in the pantry, but you need the key from the kitchen to unlock the door. All right. Grab a broom and start sweeping. What? No, that's Talese's job. And do you see Talese anywhere? No. Then start sweeping. Another new face in the fort? First Counselor Abor, now you and that cute wood elf. Look, I'd love to chat, but Talese has wandered off and left me to handle her chores. She took the Counselor her meal and hasn't returned. Did you check the watchtower? Abor's a little old, but maybe Talese decided to improve her station, if you catch my meaning. Abor reeks of fear. Maybe Talese finds that attractive. Well, she's been acting like a frightened guar since she arrived. Stays locked up in the watchtower. Only lets a single servant in at a time. And I hear she's been burning papers. Documents of some kind. She's scared out of her wits, if you ask me. The servants come to the kitchen to mutter and gossip. This one will not have it. Misaba asks that you do not distract them overly long, as they are already naturally lazy. What is it that you need? That young woman. She has not returned from the watchtower, so her chores remain undone. And she took the pantry key with her when she went. It is no longer hanging on its hook. That is a clear violation of the kitchen rules. A clear violation. The pantry is in the cellar, but the door is around the side of the building. Thales mumbled something about how the counselor loves hot root flakes, grabbed the key and the tray of food, and went off. This one hasn't seen her since. Before we check the pantry, let's talk. So, what did we learn? Counselor Abor was frightened, but that's understandable. Interesting that she was burning documents. Her journal indicated that she knew more than the others. And Talese visited the pantry before heading to the watchtower. Couldn't hurt. And every mystery novel I ever read taught me you should always follow up on every clue. Even the ones that seem insignificant. Let's check the pantry and see if she was looking for more than hot root flakes down there. Well? Is that... Damn it! They murdered Talese too! Why would the Dark Brotherhood murder... Oh no! We need to talk about this! Alright, I think I figured it out. The assassin followed Talese down here, murdered her, and took her place so they could gain access to the watchtower. Pretty clever, but they didn't have to kill her. Right. <laughs> Very funny. Wait, you're serious? If you're part of this, if you've been trying to save your murdering friends... Ah! All right. We're going back to Leowin. You can walk on your own, or I can drag your dead body behind me. Yeah, I've read that somewhere. But what about the calling cards? The Black Hand is definitely making a statement. Trying too hard to convince us that the Dark Brotherhood is behind the murders. All right, I can see your point. That doesn't change the fact that the remaining counselors are still in danger. We need to warn counselors Valeria and Vendacia. Right. Report to Commander Orton on your way out. Tell him what happened. Then go check on counselors Valeria and Vendacia. I need to return to Leowin and consult with Leviticus. But this, between you and I, it isn't over. 
remember that. After your report to the Commander, make contact with Counselors Valeria and Vandacia. Valeria went to Tidewater Cave to get her records, and Vandacia works in the Gideon Courthouse. Cracked acorns! I suddenly had the weirdest feeling come over me. Yes. No, I don't know. We were talking about the counselors, Valeria and Vandacia. Suddenly I had... a premonition. It was brief and disturbing and mildly unpleasant, like the dreams I've been having. But this is the first time while I was awake. Remember I told you about that strange book I found? The one with the Daedric writing that I can't read? I've been having bad dreams since I found it, and the dreams are becoming more frequent. This time it happened right while we were talking. It was just a flash, but it was accompanied by a feeling. I felt a sense of overwhelming evil, all tied up in the figure I saw in my mind. Like someone held a portrait in front of my face for just a moment and then pulled it away. It was one of the waking flame cultists, I think. Someone powerful, in command. A dark silhouette wrapped in a cloak. I'll never forget the feeling it invoked. It was like a wave of hopelessness. We can deal with this later. Let's get back to it. All right. You talked to the fort's servants and rummaged around in our pantry. What's the verdict? Did you find the missing servant? That's... Oh, that's horrible. Are you sure? No. Of course you're sure. No one would lie about something like that. I'll tell her brother what happened and send someone to tend to her body. Gods, what a day this has been. <laughs> the mercenary. A few moments later, and you would have found an empty cave. Your timing really is impeccable. We've already packed up my records, and we're about to head out. But what news of the other counselors? Did your warnings reach them in time? All three of them? 
That's disheartening news. Well, I'll take my records to Leowen. Perhaps between the two of us, Counselor Leviticus and I can ascertain what past incident has returned to haunt us. Oh, just a lifetime of public service and bureaucracy. Mostly financial records, but also meeting notes, ledgers, those sorts of things. I oversaw budgets and finances, the collection of taxes, public works, and I kept immaculate records. That's good to hear. Emperor Leovic loved to hide things in coded documents. But what about Counselor Vandasia? Do we know if he's still safe in Gideon? Perfect. Remind him he's too old to play the hero, and I want to see him in Leowen Castle immediately, if not sooner. These brigadines will make sure I get to the city safely. Me and my records, both. Godspeed, mercenary. I was attacked in the streets of our fair city, Keshu. I demand you deal with the criminal post-haste. Your guards did their job, Counselor Vandacia. The prisoner is secure. And what's this? More assassins? Explain yourself immediately! One attempt on my life today is more than enough. If you're another one of those Dark Brotherhood bastards, I assure you, you won't find either myself or Governor Keshu to be easy prey. Warn me? As always, Leviticus offers too little and too late. I received the letter, same as the other counselors. My personal guard took the threat seriously, and we captured the assassin in the act. But what of my esteemed colleagues? Are they safe? Dead. All three of them. This is unimaginable. Feral Lupus's letter suggested the Longhouse Emperor's left behind a secret that would prove to be a threat. But I thought he was just being melodramatic. Has Leviticus determined what this is about? Four ambitions? Never heard of them. How could something I know nothing about make me a target of the Dark Brotherhood? It's got to be a mistake. You must question the prisoner. Get him to confess and reveal the truth of this sordid affair. Governor Keshu locked the prisoner in the holding cell in the courthouse basement. Question the villain, and find out why the Dark Brotherhood is trying to wipe out anyone who was part of the Imperial Elder Council. I'll head for Leowin afterward. I wish there was something I could tell you. The letter I received suggested that some old Council business was the cause of all this. Why the Dark Brotherhood would be interested in such menial affairs, I'm not sure. I'm completely baffled. My personal guard is dedicated and well-trained. Not to mention lucky. I was nearing the courthouse when the assassins sprang from the shadows. My guards reacted instantly and overpowered the villain. We brought them here and Keshu locked them away. As I said, I never heard the term. 
The Longhouse Emperors were enamored of secrets and code words, though. Perhaps I encountered it, but it was called something else. If you think it might be important, ask the Assassin when you interrogate him. I'm not sure how relevant my ancient history is, but I was appointed to the Elder Council by Emperor Durkarach himself. I helped guide the Empire through most of the reign of the Longhouse Emperors. Sadly, my role in guiding the Empire often put me at odds with the Emperors. I was rarely privy to their secrets. I'm afraid I can't shed any light on that particular mystery. Curse you, the Black Finn. War hero, progressive Argonian, and governor of our fair city of Gideon. I serve as an advisor and bureaucrat. Nothing more. I have deep roots in Gideon, so I try to do my part to keep the wheels of government turning. The cell door is open. What happened here? Part something Some sort of acid lock. ate right through the Hit lock. Me. Look, there's and more escaped. than on the floor. knocked me over. How rude. He attacked this legionnaire and ran into the ruins of the old city. You're persistent, I'll give you that. All right, let's chat. Well met, sister. If I'd realized you were in the area, I would have suggested we meet for a meal at the Egg and Hammer. The chef makes a superb mud hopper stew. I suppose you're chasing me because of the incident at the courthouse, hmm? Well, aren't you a fast reader? Look, if you're here about Councillor Vandacia's accusations, you have to know they aren't true. From your time with the Brotherhood, you must remember that if we set out to kill someone, they wind up dead. <laughs> Evidence. I told the Speaker those calling cards would get us into trouble. It's not like we signed them or anything. Anyone can dip their palm in black ink and make a handprint. Look, there have been no contracts. I'm here on different business. Hmm, good question. As soon as you figure it out, let me know. I definitely want to have a chat with them myself. Now, it's been lovely seeing you again, but I really do need to get back to my daring escape. If you learn anything, I'll be in touch. If you come to any conclusions, do let me know. Ta-ta.
So, the mercenary from Leowin has returned. Tell me, were you able to capture the assassin? Or perhaps you killed him in battle once you caught up to him? I am eager to hear the news. Allow me to peruse the document, if you will. <laughs> Proof positive that the Dark Brotherhood is in Blackwood. We must find this sanctuary and destroy it. What did you expect? Such lies fall from his lips like rain from the sky on a stormy day. Villains never freely admit their guilt. The evidence is right here in this letter. Meet me and Leowin, and we'll share this information with Leviticus. What? Oh, my personal guard are nearby, and these legionnaires are sufficient. You need not be concerned. As for Keshu, she had business to attend to. Gideon business. I saw no reason to distract her from her regular duties. Now to Leowin. What do you say we try some of the local fare? I'm famished. That's tired of walking anyway. Dark Brotherhood. They must be driven out of Blackwood. I still can't figure out why they would be targeting us, Vandasia. Eliminate the threat first. Then we can seek answers. All of the remaining counselors in Blackwood are gathered here in the castle. Valeria, Vandasia, and myself. While we await the arrival of the scribe I sent for, tell me what you uncovered in Gideon. I'm not sure I agree with Vandasia's assessment. Yes. I remember reports of their presence early in Morikar's reign, but they were driven out. The assassins must see this as the perfect opportunity to reclaim their base, but what does that have to do with Leovic's secret and the ambitions? Vandasia, Faleria, and I were just discussing that. We think Leovic had each of the counselors unknowingly working on a different aspect of the ambitions project. They each had access to a piece of the puzzle, but no one but Leovic knew everything. That's our prevailing theory. If the counselors ever came together to compare notes, the truth of the ambitions would be revealed. To stop that from happening, the Dark Brotherhood was sent to kill my colleagues. Indeed. Hmm, very curious. Still, I'm hesitant to take the word of an admitted killer at face value. Not with so much at stake. Regardless, their very presence still poses a threat to all of Blackwood. The Sanctuary cannot be allowed to reopen. Jirix and Sophus's documents contain information written in Imperial Code. I sent for the scribe Baragon, but he has yet to arrive. Until then, the counselors will remain safe within these walls. You have done well so far, and have my thanks. Whatever the truth behind the murders of my fellow counselors, we can't allow the Dark Brotherhood to gain a foothold in Blackwood. I'd like you and Evely to go to Blood Run Cave to ascertain the situation there. Talk to Evely and make your plans. 
Until we know more, I'm not prepared to engage in an all-out war with the Dark Brotherhood. No, better to send you and Evely to investigate the situation. Then we can determine if a more forceful response is warranted. Hey, partner! Over here! 